Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. Happy Sunday. I hope you are doing fantastic. It is hot here. So we are inside with the air conditioning. So if you are where it's hot, I hope you guys are staying cool, getting some reading done. I have had a great weekend. It really has been a really good weekend. I've got some reading in, started a new book. Um, I've been walking the dogs. We had some friends over for dinner. So it's actually been a really nice weekend. I do leave tonight to travel for the next few days. So there you go. Um, but that's fine. I can handle that. I can handle that. Um, today's video is super exciting for me because it's where I'm going to get to share with you the six big buzz books from Book Expo America 2019. Now, if you've been a member of my channel for a while now, you know that last year I talked about the fact that every year at Book Expo America, they have two panels where they go over six books that the industries, the editors, and all of those people are really excited about that are coming out through the rest of the year, rest of, in this case, 2019 into early 2020. Last year, I shared with you both the adult and the YA titles. This year, I'm just going to share the adult titles with you. Um, but I have to say, they are six amazing books. Very different. We're going to have memoir. We're going to have um, some uh, literary fiction. We're going to have a science fiction title. So it's going to be a really eclectic mix of books that I get to share with you. The way that I'm going to share them is I'm going to talk about them in order of publication. So I'm going to go from the one that's coming out the most... Uh, the soonest to those two books, I think it's two, that are coming out in January 2020. Um, so get out your pen, get out your paper, get out your Goodreads, because I have a feeling that all of these books are going to speak to you guys in different ways, and you're going to want to read them all, so you're going to want them on your TBR. Please, if you are able, pre-order them from your independent bookstore, or have your library pre-order them so that they are available for you when they come out, ways to support these authors and their books, because there's actually a lot of debuts in here as well. So very, very exciting, and I should get started because I have to tell you, I was prepping for this video, making sure I had all my dates right, rereading, learning about the books, and I started reading all six of them because they are all that excellent. So I have a feeling that it's going to be hard for me not to read them in a slew. So there you go. Let's go ahead and start with the science fiction title. This is out from Crown Books. This is The Warehouse by Rob Hart. Now, this book is set in a world where there's this organization slash corporation called the Cloud, which seems to be pretty much overtaking the entire world. And our main character's name is Paxton. Paxton? Uh, Paxton, and he has gotten a job at the Cloud, something that he never actually thought he would do. And in getting a job, he moves into sort of the living space that is the Cloud organization. And it has warehouses and malls and stores. It's very sterile. Never thought he would be there. Um, our second main character is Zinnia, and she is actually trying to infiltrate the, the cloud because she wants to investigate whether or not it's really and truly on the up and up and sort of the secrets behind the, the, the facade. She meets Paxton, and in her world, she sort of sees Paxton as someone she can sacrifice maybe to get the information that she needs in her investigation. And um, this becomes a book of these two people sort of learning about the cloud, learning about the society that it has built, and sort of then them being on the run. It's going to be one of those sort of slightly futuristic. I have a feeling a lot of this is going to ring very true. There happens to be a corporation in my head when I just read the back of this book. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want you guys to be thinking about it the way I think about it. But I have a feeling if you are sort of fans of the Ready Player One or those slightly, slightly forward sci-fi-ish books that have a real sense of reality, I have a feeling that this book is really going to feel real. Um, I am really excited about The Warehouse by Rob Hart. This is out on August 20th. 2019, right around the corner from Crown Books. Okay, next in the list is <clears throat> The Secrets We Keep. This is by Lara Prescott. This is out from Knopf, and it comes out on September 17th, 2019. So, moment of all honesty, this is the book that I was like, I'm not sure that this book is going to be for me. However, in doing my research, reading about it, and then taking a few minutes to read the first 20 pages or so, I am hooked, hooked. Set at the height of the Cold War, this book is really about the distribution of, I'm going to say his name and look it up because I don't want to get it right wrong, Boris Pasternak's 
band masterpiece, which I had to look up, guys, I didn't know, is Dr. Zhivago. Now, I was looking and reading online that Dr. Zhivago, he was a Russian writer, and when it came out in Russia, Dr. Zhivago was very much a banned book. He actually won the Nobel Prize in Literature and had to turn it down due to Russia's sort of response to the novel in and of itself. This is the story of really three women. One is Olga, who is the woman who is sort of the muse and inspiration to Boris and Dr. Zhivago. And then also there are two women, two secretaries, I'm putting that in quotes, um, that um, work in the United States in Washington, D.C., and they are spies slash typists. I want to just read you guys just the blurb on the back. I was gonna, I'm going to try not to do that. I really want to tell you about why I'm excited. But this blurb is fan-freaking-tastic. It says, We came to the agency by way of Radcliffe, Vassar, Smith. We were the first daughters of our families to earn degrees. Some of us spoke Mandarin. Some of us could fly planes. Some of us could handle a Colt 1873 better than John Wayne. But all we were asked when we interviewed was, can you type? So, so that is just so pulls me in. I think this is going to be sort of that international spy thriller. The two young women, the friends um, at the center of the book, um, uh, they, they're going to have a very special relationship, trying not to spoil anything. Um, but they also, they keep secrets. They definitely have that sort of thing. They were giving away at Book Expo America these little sort of fake made passports for this book that I really wanted to get my hands on and I did not. Um, and yeah, no, this is not normal level up my alley, but I am so bought in to the secrets we kept by Laura Laura Prescott. This is out from Kanaf, and again, it comes out on September seventeenth, two thousand nineteen, which let's be honest is around the corner. Okay, next is a memoir that I've actually talked about a few times on my channel because I am super, super excited about it. That's How We Fight for Our Lives by Saeed Jones. This is out from Simon & Schuster on October 8th, 2019. This is the story of a young man, a young ba gay black man in the South and coming to terms with his own sense of who he is and sort of trying to fit that into the world he grew up in. He is from a Southern religious family. And um, when the editor talked about this, he really talked about events that were happening as Saeed was sort of coming to terms with his own sexuality and identity. Um, the one that really stuck to me was the death and murder of Matthew Shepard. Really, if you were young and coming out with when that occurred, could be very much an eye-opening and sort of pivotal moment in who you are and how you're going to define yourself. I am th so freaking excited about this memoir. Um, I think it has a lot to say, and he is so energetic. If you guys remember, he was on BuzzFeed's AM to DM, I believe it's called, um, that was a show on there for a while. I think it just ended. Um, but he just has such personality, and um, I think this book is going to rip our hearts out. So that's How We Fight for Our Lives by Saeed Jones. This is out on October 8th, 2019 from Simon and & Schuster. Okay. Um, the next book is actually the one I know the least about, and that is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is out from William Morrow, and it comes out in January 2020. So we're into actually three books that are coming out in January 2020. Funny thing is it doesn't say when in January. It just says January 2020. Even online it says January 2020. Um, My Dark Vanessa is the story of a young girl named Vanessa who has a relationship, a sexual relationship, with her high school English teacher who is significantly older than her in uh, sort of t circa 2000. Then the book sort of flips forward to 2017 when that teacher has been accused of sexual misconduct with another student and that student reaches out to Vanessa and that makes Vanessa reassess her relationship with the teacher. What I think this book does is flip back and forth from Vanessa's perspective in 2010 and 2017 really as she starts to struggle and understand the relationship she had in high school and how it sort of affected her as the adult she is today. This has real vibes of Putney 
that you guys know I absolutely loved and raved about. Um, and um, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. I'm really, really intrigued on what this book is going to say and how is it's going to say it. So again, that's My Dark Vanessa. I will say that this book is blurbed by Stephen King. It says, A Well-Constructed Package of Dynamite. Um, I don't see many books blurred by Stephen King on the front cover, so that's a pretty big statement. Again, My, Mar My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell out William Morrow in January 2020. And you know, I'm Russell, she's a Russell. Gotta love her a little bit there for just that piece. Okay, we are through four of the six books. We have one more literary fiction debut and one memoir. The literary fiction debut that I'm gonna tell you about now is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. This is out from Putnam in January, on January 7th, 2020. Um, as I said when I unboxed this, this was sort of blurbed as a combination between Mothers by Britt Bennett and the TV show Insecure, which I think is really interesting. This is the story of a relationship between two women. Um, Alex, Alex, who spells her name A-L-I-X, um, I believe that she is a, so she is an um, established, well thought of, wealthy white woman who has two children and has sort of made her career from starting on a blog and then now she sort of does. I think the way it describes it here is she has built herself into a confidence-driven brand. Um, she has a, a babysitter who is Amira Tucker, who is a young black woman, who one night um, Alex calls Amira and asks her to take her children out because she needs to be needs to be alone. And um, while Amira is at the store, she is accused by a man of stealing and kidnapping the two children. This event is caught on video and sort of blows up social media and all that kind of stuff. And what happens is Alex steps in. She wants to fix this situation. She wants to do something about what has happened. But Amira has her own issues. She's about to lose her health, lose her health insurance. She's got, you know, she's struggling in life. And what happens in, in the video, I guess, there's a person from Alex's past that comes forward and it sort of creates this dynamic between the two women that leads forward into their development of their relationship and also how to address the situation that has occurred. Um, I've read the first 40 pages and Kylie Reed is going to be a superstar. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed out from Putnam on January 7th, 2020. We're going to finish up with another memoir that I think is actually going to speak to a lot of people and that is Uncanny Valley, a memoir by Anna Weiner. This comes out on January 14th, 2020. I know I said when I unboxed it that it came out in January 2019. That's not true. Um, 2020, I just can't get my mind around the fact that there are, are already stuff ready for that. This is coming out from MCD, out from FSG. Um, loving, loving this imprint of FSG. This is the story of a young woman. She works actually in publishing in New York and decides she wants to go um, just do something completely different. So she moves from New York to San Francisco to really get involved in the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to think uh, of how they blurb it here. Um, she gets she, to get involved with like the startups, all of the startups that were ca hauling across Silicon Valley, changing the dynamics of the industry, changing business as we know it. And as she gets involved, she starts to sort of see it for what it may be and what it really is versus what it wants to be. This I think is going to be a dark memoir about the realism of what the startup culture is like. There's a blurb on the back here. It says, um, it, uh, but amid the company's ski vacations and in-office speakeasies, boyish camaraderie and ride-or-die corporate fia uh, fealty, sorry, a new Sil Silicon Valley began to emerge, one in far over its head one that enriched itself at the expense of the idyllic future it claimed to be building. I think this book is going to sort of be one of those ones that we still talk about 20 years ago as sort of eye-opening into a world that really did change business and how people worked and how people got out of college and thought what they could do with their futures and their lives. 
So this is, again, Uncanny Valley, a memoir by Anna Weiner. This is out from MCD by FSG. Again, it comes out January 14th, 2020. So let me hold these books up here for you guys. So these are the six buzz book titles. That's not a, exactly a straight stack. Um, but that from Book Expo America 2019, I cannot wait to read them myself. I hope you guys are super excited about them. As I said, please pre-order them from your independent bookstore if you're able, or have your library pre-order them so that the publishers and the, in, uh, the authors know that you guys are super excited about them. Um, I hope that you guys really enjoy getting to see some of the inside stuff that comes out of Book Expo America. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you saw and I hope you come back for more. If you are a return subscriber, I could not do this without you and I appreciate every day that you watch my channel. As always, I wish you happy reading and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!